So this morning when we rolled out, it was a beautiful day. It was pretty chilly, but it was blue sky, sunny. And as we were riding, you could see the clouds just getting darker and darker as you're riding towards them. And we all were getting ready for a bit of a wet, a wet ride. And we could feel the wind as well. It's pretty cold. So not only were we going to be wet, we we're going to be pretty chilly. Today's ride was yeah pretty punishing for me. Um, I probably only had five minutes of the whole day that I actually enjoyed, like on the bike enjoyed. It was it was windy. Um, the wind was really giving me a hard time. The rain was okay, um, but the wind was hard. For some of the riders, it was quite quite difficult to pedal into. You always felt like you were working quite hard. So we actually changed um, the positioning of the peloton so that some of the riders that were struggling a little bit. We're protected. It's really nice to know that the guys, you know, have got your back and they'll push you up into the cruisier part of the bunch where you're out of the wind, where the big strong guys are around you and just, you know, help you get through the day, which is certainly what happened today. In fact, even Imogen uh, acted as a windbreak for me today. But that's how desperate I was. She'd be all of 60 kilos and about five foot four. But no, she was really good to me as well, so I owe her. When you see a huge truck coming the other way when it's raining, you just get ready for the spray, <laughs> you just get soaked. The wind buffer is probably the most frightening thing about the big trucks, whether they go past or come into you. Uh, it's always a bit of a worry, and, but you know, you just hang on that little bit tighter and then that sigh of relief when they disappear. With you know safety being such a priority, like you kind of you want to make sure every bike is is safe to ride, but also we're riding pretty decent kilometres, so there are lots of things that are going wrong with bikes over time. We have you know anything from just replacing spokes or replacing tyres or replacing chains or cassettes, uh, you know, until the sort of late hours of the evening, like last night, 11 o'clock, which is pretty common, and we are usually the first out of bed as well because we usually have a hotel room of 15 bikes whilst everyone's left their bikes with us the night before to repair the, um, the bikes, yeah. Generally, the wet day, I guess everyone's a little bit nervous, but it usually means flat tyres, more common, because the, the glass sticks to your tyres in the wet. So, um, yeah, more flat tyres, but when it's cold as well, it's not very fun changing a flat tyre. You've just got to focus on the end of the ride, because you're out there, you're not, you know, nobody's going to get in the van just because it's raining. Um, so you just got to focus on the ride and, and the fact that it's going to finish and you can have a hot shower at the end of it.